சிவாய நம திருச்சிற்றம்பலம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் டிஸ்கஷன் ஆன் த நைன்த் திருமுறை வித் காட் சிவாஸ் கிரேஸ் வி ஹாவ் ஆல்ரெடி கன்க்ளூடட் ட்வெண்ட்டி ஒன் திருப்பதிகம்ஸ் அண்ட் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஸ்டார்ட் வித் த ட்வெண்ட்டி செகண்ட் திருப்பதிகம் திஸ் இஸ் ரிட்டன் பை திரு திருவாலி அமுதனார் இட் இஸ் ரிட்டன் டு த பிளேஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் தில்லை விச் வி ஆல் நோ சிதம்பரம் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் ரிட்டன் இன் த பண் கால்ட் அஸ் பஞ்சமம் we have already seen one very similar padigam to this where lord shiva was described all the way from his toes to his uh, to his uh, hair that's the same approach today also we are going to start with because 22nd tirupadigam is also in that same format we call this as padadi kesam in tamil literature we always whenever we are praising a human being like a lady or um a uh, king or something of that sort we should start from all the way from hair to toe but when we are praising god it must be the other way they must start from the f- uh, toe toes all the way st- all the way to the uh, head that is how usually it is approached so today we are going to start with lord shiva's beautiful lotus feet the first verse goes this way trichitrambalam மையல் மாதொரு கூரன்மால் விடையேறி மான் மாறியேந்திய தடம் கையன் கார் புரையும் கரை கண்டன் கணன் வாழுவான் ஐயன் நாரழல்லாடுவான் அணி நீர் வயல் தில்லை அம்பலத்தான் செய்ய பாதம் வந்து என் சிந்தையொளிடம் கொண்டனவே திருச்சிற்றம்பலம் டுடேஸ் வேர்ஸ் அஸ் வி செட் டாக்ஸ் அபவுட் த பியூட்டிஃபுல் லோட்டஸ் ஃபீட் and why is the uh, uh, lotus feet given so much of importance in saiva siddhantam is because we all know saiva siddhantam aims for as in when we say we are going to uh, achieve realization it means that we are trying to reach to his feet lord shiva's feet now sometimes when we say okay i'm going to sit in meditation they say okay have a chin mudra when you talk about chin mudra the way how the fingers are represented are this particular finger the thumb is represents god and the index finger represents us as in the soul and then anavam kanvam and maya that's why when we see weddings usually what they do is they tie these two fingers of the bride and the groom to say my maya and your maya is going to be combined together to create the new maya but anyways anavam kanvam and maya right now if you look at it the soul is attached so closely with anavam kanma maya and it is away from lord shiva but what we have to do is bend away from this and we have to achieve lord shiva's lotus feet now sometimes we do this way this is not saiva siddhantam this is vedanta concept where we say we are equal to lord shiva and you become one with lord shiva which is not saiva siddhantam when, when once we uh, understand the saiva siddhantam concept we will understand this in a clear manner what we have to do is achieve lord shiva's lotus feet that is what this particular chin mudra represents so what we have to do when we are sitting for meditation is this mudra is more important not only the mudra but also this concept is something that we have to inculcate very deep in us so that we are able to follow through these practices and in this particular verse the author says the saint says i am able to see lord shiva's lotus feet deeply engraved in my heart what kind of a feet is this he is the one dancing performing the cosmic dance in the place called as chidambaram and he is in the form of ardhanarishwara not only that he has a beautiful bull as his vehicle rather and he also has a a black spot on his neck which uh, which uh, which increases his beauty and he is the one dancing holding on to a fire ball in his hands and he is the one performing the dance and that particular lotus feet is the one which is deep inside my heart now the saint here says the feet is already in his heart what we have to do is request lord shiva that we should also get it get onto that particular situation 
that concludes verse number 1 i'll come back again with the next verse very soon until then sivaya namath tirchitrambalam